Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today we're going to be doing a look for a spider and a spider web on each eye. It's going to be really intricate and it's going to be really blinged out. So I hope you guys are ready for day two of our Halloween look. If you guys would like to see how to create this look, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey, hey subscribe subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed thank you for your support thank you for watching and let's get started all right beauties to start we're going in with the elf matte oil control lotion getting control of those oils and then going in with the elf poreless putty primer to make sure to fill in those pores then the chalk dust powder from the crayon case to set the face and now in with the Too faced matte um, born this way foundation in brulee and then we're going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Cookie. And contouring with the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in Zombia. And putting in cream blush with our P. Louise Base in Winter Rose and blending that out. So first we're going to just beat this face and have a great foundation prior to going in and creating our spider and spider web. And as you can see, I am blending my concealer with the sponge. I blended my contour with the brush. And we're just making sure everything is nice and seamless before going in for the main attraction. Now we're going to set everything once again with the chalk dust powder from the crayon case. Then we're setting our highlighted areas with the Beauty Bakery powder called Plantain. And we're just tapping that in and making sure everything is nice and set. Then we're going in with the Contradition Notebook from the crayon case and chiseling out that jaw, matching the nose. And now we're going to start the smoky eye with the black base from P. Louise, tapping that in. Then we're going to blend around it, just tapping into this black and brown and making sure to create a gradient. Then going in with the black over the top of the base and starting to blend that into the brown that we tapped around and starting to go into this tan color now to tap out the edges so that we can create this beautiful smoky eye and i love how it came out super easy and simple i'm using my elf pencil and brunette to um, create my brow and i'm just taking my time cleaning that up now with the concealer and now that that's cleaned up i'm now just blending the concealer into the smoky eye then we're going to go into our white base from Fukai's Mind. It's called Coconut. Blend that on the eye and start to create a cut crease situation on the other eye. This will be the eye for the web. And I am just going into the brown color and creating um, this beautiful cut crease. Now I went into the tan color to create the gradient. And I am going to now make a blonde brow so I'm tapping setting powder on my eyebrow and then I am brushing through that now we're going to go into this AJ Crimson makeup artist palette go into the lightest concealer in there and I'm shading my whole brow as if I were filling it in with a pomade um, I'm going to just shade my whole brow and make it look as precise as possible even giving it the hair like strokes in the front then we're going to set the brow once again with setting powder and then we're going to clean up the brow using our foundation and really just take your time and this is how you create a blonde brow if you ever do blonde hair and then brush through the brow with a spoolie to make sure that the product is not too backed up and as you can see this is a super cute blonde brow so now I am going ahead and going back into the brown and tan to just make sure that I have not missed out on any of the color um, that I'm using to intensify the um, cut crease that we're creating. So as you can see the brown I went in first and I'm just bringing that around to the side and creating the shape I want for this eye. And I just bring it out. And then I brought it in because I want this to kind of have a connecting uh, situation with the web. 
and take your time and blend until you have it how you want it, especially when you're creating a gradient. Now I just went in with a little bit of black right into the crease um, because I want it to have even more depth and I'm just keeping that right in the center. I'm not going to blow that out. I just want it to have that there for when I cut the crease, it will have the intensity that I want it to have. And I am using a crease brush to do, do this. As you can see, I'm just simply blending really, really gently. Don't put too much pressure and I am not going up too high. The reason I'm using the crease brush is because I don't want it to be blown out. If you use a blending brush, it blows it out. Right now I'm trying to control that black and keep it right where I need it to be for when I cut the crease. And you'll see the gradient effect as you can see. So now we're going in with the blank canvas from P. Louise and we are etching out our um, cut crease. This is going to go all the way around. It's not going to um, stop at the top. I'm going to connect it on the side as well the way that I have it blended with the cut crease as you can see. Now that I have outlined where I want it to be and the line is straight. I am actually going to outline once again um, because I want this to kind of be like a double cut crease. So I'm cleaning up the line with a little bit of black. And then in the center, I am creating the double cut crease and I am going to map this out. And now I'm just cleaning up that line once again. And this is how the eye is looking for right now. It's going to look completely different at the end so bear with me right now we're blending away any excess powder because we're about to start creating our web so i'm using the black paint from lashing out glam this is one of the graffiti liners and this is a super precise brush from lashing out glam super duper precise it's very hard to find brushes this precise so i recommend if you do any detailing work to get the brushes from lashing out glam as well as the graffiti liners because they are amazing as you can see i am now starting to etch out my spider so this is the legs that i am etching from the center of my eye and I am just taking my time to make sure that the legs look how I want it to look before doing the bottom legs I needed to smoke out the bottom lash line and then I decided I wanted to go ahead and bronze now because once I start drawing the legs at the bottom um, it's going to be hard to bronze on top of that so I'm just adding my bronzer on my face so that I can bring that warmth back And I am loving how this is looking already. Bringing that warmth back. Very, very nice. And I'm just blending away any excess powder once again. I'm adding some blush to the apples of my cheek because we love blush over here, honey. And then just kind of going over that and just making sure that everything is blending together seamlessly. Adding a little highlight. This is the honor roll highlighter from the crayon case. Getting this face looking snizzatched. Now we're going in and finishing our spider legs. So I'm bringing this leg out. Once again, using this detailing brush from Lashing Out Glam and using the graffiti liners. It's very, very, very easy to use when you are trying to detail. So if you do detail, I highly suggest you use Lashing Out Glam's um, brushes. They're so precise. Look at how easy I'm creating this line and it's not getting too big 
and also um the graffiti liners just go on like a dream they don't crack and they look amazing now i'm taking my time creating these legs because i don't want them to look fake and i just wanted to make sure that the spider is just looking nice and scary so i am now creating another leg coming from the top this detailing takes some time just do a straight line coming from the center of the eye don't go all the way down because the eyelid is the body and just make the legs go out where you can actually really get it to look like little legs The top legs are probably the hardest because there's a lot of uh, face curving at the top. So just take your time when you're creating the legs. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Especially going around the nose. This part right here had me. I was like, oh, I do not want to mess this up. So once I got this leg down, I was like, oh, okay. I can breathe. Now I only have two more left. So we're gonna do the two bottom legs. Those are kind of gonna be dropping, so it's not gonna be as tough to get that one. And as you can see, I went through that pretty fast. Yeah, it's like the bottom of the leg to be skinnier, so that's just kind of what I'm working on. And we are almost done creating our spider legs. And when you first do it, it's not gonna too much look like a spider. Um, it's just going to look like lines, but we're going to detail it and make it look like Spiderlicious. So I'm going in with the white um, graffiti liner from Lashing Out Glam and adding little details, little white spots for the spider to give it more texture and more realness. And then see like it's already starting to look better. Just that, just that easy. And literally I'm using... A, the, another detailing brush from Lashing Out Glam that's even smaller to do this. And look at how easy it is to put these little lines in the spider legs. Look at how good that looks, y'all. Okay. So now we're going to small out the bottom lash line on the other eye. So we can start to create our spider web. Now I looked at a lot of spider looks to see how I wanted to do mine and to see how I wanted it to be different. So I definitely took a different route, even though I got inspired by the look in general, I wanted to make it my own. So here I am creating a spider web using the white graffiti liner. It was pretty simple to do. Um, you know, you just do the lines and then connect them kind of going up in a round motion and then have the um, line extend a little bit further. And that's pretty much how your web is going to look. And it is looking so good. So now I decided I wanted to have baby spiders in addition to my large spider. So my spider had babies, y'all. I wanted to make this more intricate. I've seen the spider on the eye and the spider web, but I wanted to make it even more interesting by having baby spiders um, crawling around as well. So this detailing brush is so necessary for something so detailed like this. I'm doing a small circular body and creating these little tiny legs to create the baby spiders. And I just think it's going to add even more to the look. So once again, this is the graffiti liner in the black that I'm using and the Lashing Out Glam um, brushes. So now, as you can see, the look could be complete. If you want to stop here, you could be done and just throw on your lashes and it will look bomb. But I like to bedazzle things personally. And so I decided to take it to the next level and add another hour or two to the look. <laughs> so I'm adding rhinestones and I created this super cute crystal rhinestone eye. And now I decided to, of course, bedazzle my web as well. So I use clear stones on my eye and on the web, I used iridescent stones. So it's going to be 
even a little bit uh, more shiny and just beautiful so this took more of the time than it actually took to create the look so like i said you can stop here if you want to stop here you definitely can and you will still look fierce if you stop there because it looks so good this look is so pretty once you put the lash on on the spider side it's gonna look like the body of the um spider so you can definitely stop here but i'm just gonna take it there and i'm adding these stones so i added my dual lash glue i'm using the back of a brush i put a little bit of glue on there um the dual lash glue and that's how i'm picking the stones up so this detailing took some time it took actually a lot of time so just be prepared if you are going to uh add the rhinestones to be sitting for probably an hour or two just relax sit back unwind i feel like the ending result is definitely worth it so don't be discouraged just keep going y'all keep going so i'm just really placing the stones where i want them to be and you kind of get the gist i don't want to go over the um web too much because it, we gotta bedazzle everything but i'm just showing you how to really get the web to look bomb there i put the larger stones um, around the areas where the connections are happening and then the smaller stones in the middle of the web and now we are going to start to create our crystal baby spiders um, i put a black rhinestone in the center of the body and then i put really tiny rhinestones for the legs so this took a long time you guys this took more time like i said than creating the look but it looks so cool to have that 3d effect and now we're going to rhinestone out the spider the huge baby mama spider so we did the black legs in the areas where we have the white i'm going to put a clear crystal and that is how we are creating the legs on the big spider and boom look at how beautiful that is i love it look at that now i wanted to go ahead and blink out the spider body so we are putting the lash glue in the um on the lid where we are going to be having the body of the spider to give it some more texture and so everything is cohesive for the body i decided i wanted to use larger stones so i used the large rhinestones to create that and i think it looks so good and then right in the front i put one for the head of the spider and look at how that looks when it's closed oh i love it i love the contrast of the blonde and the black and now i'm just putting in the black into my waterline and i decided to add contacts y'all so these contacts are hazel and i felt like they just gave me oh look at that took the look to a whole nother level and then i went in with my blackboard lipstick from the crayon case just to make it more black arachnophobia spider spider girl this is so beautiful and glamorous and halloween okay and that is what i was going for the contacts really just take it to another level for me and i'm here for it i am here for it so this black lipstick is very bomb if you are ever looking for a black lipstick blackboard from the crayon case i highly recommend look at how gorgeous this is you guys bam and we're done Ooh, serve honey Ooh, oh this is giving everything i hope you guys enjoy it the way i love it it is reflecting and it is 3d and it is so cute Ooh. all right beauty so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on our 3d spider and spider web that is sparkling dazzling so gorgeous like if you could see the light dancing off of these crystals in person it is so beautiful 
and intricate and I am here for it. I'm so happy with how this came out. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling this lick. Let me know in the comments below if you would rock this lick and if you do decide to, make sure to tag me so that I can shout you out. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there's only one you. Bye.